Hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. This hat matrix in regression we know is an orthogonal projection as opposed to just merely a projection. So what is the difference? Okay, let's illustrate this regression thing. With a point y, vector y, observations. The idea is we want to find the point in this in the column space of x that's closest to y. So if we could say the problem is to find a matrix P such that when it's applied to y it takes us to the closest point in this space to that. So let's look at some contenders, let's say that's P one y P2y, P3y. Each of these matrices, P1, P2, P3, are projection matrices. I'm going to suppose. Well, which one is the one that's closest to y? This distance? this distance or this distance. I think you can see that the nearest distance is the one given by the projection matrix P2. So P1, P2, P3, they're all projection matrices but P3 is the one that's closest and it's unique. It's the closest one because that's the right angle and that's the closest you can get is when you've got a right angle from this to here. And that's why it's called orthogonal projection because of a property of this uh, right angles which we're going to use in a moment. But first let's summarize the differences between an average projection and an orthogonal projection. Projection matrix something is a projection matrix if and only if it is idempotent. Something is a when I say something means a matrix is an orthogonal projection if and only if it is idempotent and symmetrical. The idea of idempotent is this well first of all we know if a matrix A is idempotent then a squared, well we don't need the y, a squared, if we take the power of the matrix, it'll be equal itself. What's the intuition between why a projection matrix should be idempotent? Well, a projection matrix projects something onto a particular it's a column space. So say that we have P1y, we've got y star. A y hat, sorry. If I apply it again to the matrix, to, to the vector, so this step has taken us to the column space. If I apply it again, well, it shouldn't do anything to there, the y hat, since y hat is already in the column space. If we look at the hat matrix, it is y when you prove, look at hx, hx is equal to x, once you substitute for hat h. It's because x is already in the column space. So if you do h onto it, it doesn't do anything to it. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like an identity matrix. But it's only because x is already in the column space, spanned. Uh, x or in the column space spanned by x. And then the second final question is how come that an orthogonal matrix is symmetrical whereas a just a usual projection matrix is not? Okay, this here, let's call it, the, it's basically it's the residual. This point here is y hat. Because they're orthogonal this is right angle, we say they're orthogonal. 
we know two matrices orthogonal if the inner product of those two vectors is zero. And another equivalent way to write that is in vector form, so we can write y hat transpose hat equal to zero because now this is one by n and this is n by n. But y hat is equal to h y. Remember the hat matrix gets its name because it like puts a hat on the y. That's the way to remember it. And the residual is equal to the actual value minus the fitted value. So we can see that this is going to be substituting for this hat, uh, sorry, y. And so it hat is going to be i minus h y. Now taking one and two together and plugging it into here, we have this expression which is equal to zero if and only if you can see that h i minus how many mister is equal to zero or that h transpose is equal to h transpose h and if we transpose this expression but these two on the right hand side is the same therefore comparing one star and two star you can see that immediately that h transpose is equal to h i.e. h is symmetric and it's only the case because it is orthogonal so we use the orthogonality condition right here it's, yeah, it's only because that point y hat is orthogonal to y so there you go um, I've explained what the difference is between a projection and an orthogonal projection giving you intuition of why a projection matrix must be idempotent and I've proved that an orthogonal projection is also symmetric, symmetrical. I right, hope that's been useful. Take care.